Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN InfoTech Tutorials, a place to learn new techniques. Today I'll be showing you how to create beautiful borders in Microsoft Word using lines, curves and arcs. These borders can be used as paragraph borders and page borders. First, save your file to old version if you are using 2010 and later versions. To do that, go to the file, click save, then select the drive. Type a file name and select Word 97 2003 from the drop down and click on the save button. Next, go to the view tab and turn on the grid lines. Next, reduce the margins by going to the layout and click on this tiny arrow of the page setup and enter 0.5 cm for all the sides and click on the OK button. First, let me show you the simple border techniques and later I will show you the advanced border designs. Now let me show you the first sample. I will go to the insert, and click on shapes and then click on preform. Now I will make a click here and click on this point and then click on this point. You could notice that the line automatically snaps to the grid line. So this is because of the grid line and the snap settings. So now I'll just continue clicking like this. A few moments later, I, I was able to create this for the entire width of the page. Now let me make a copy of this and apply a color. So I'll just go to the shape fill and click on a fill color. Now let me remove the outline. Now let us re uh, hide the grid lines and see how this looks. This uh, looks great. This can be used as a paragraph border uh, or even as a page border. Now I applied the same technique and created this page border. Now let me show you the second sample. I'll go to the insert shapes and again I'll take the freeform tool. Now I'll click like this. A few moments later, I finished creating this border. Now let me show you without the grid lines. And also let us have a look at the entire page border. When it is applied to the entire page, it looked like this. Now let me show you the third sample. For the third sample, again I am using the freeform tool. So I am going to make clicks like this. Two minutes later this border was completed so let me hide the grid lines and uh, this is how it looked on the entire page. Now let me show you the next one. For this again I am going to use the freeform tool. So this is a bit different so you need to closely watch. So I will start from here, I will click here, click here. And again click here, here. So I'll end it here. So now I'll fill this with a color and remove the outline. Now I'll make copies of this by holding control and clicking and dragging. After I copied this across the entire width, I grouped it together. Then later I applied it on the entire page. So it looked like this. Now let us move on to the advanced concept. So I will show you how to create borders using the arc. 
so this time I am going to take the arc so I'll just draw an arc like this now you can increase uh, you know the arc you know like this by holding the I mean dragging the yellow control points so now I'll just rotate this by 90 degree and place it here and then I'll just create another arc now I'll just move this towards this side and let me increase the height itself like this now I'll just duplicate this one and then flip it horizontally and then keep it this side now I will need to group them all together so I'll go to the select objects select everything and group it together now make duplicate copies of this I have copied this across the page now it looks like this and on the entire page it looks like this now let us have a look at the next sample so this time I am going to use the curve so I will start from here I will click here 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 like that and so on so now the completed one looks like this and on the entire page it looks like this now let me show you the next one this time again I am using the curve so I'll start the point from here and then I'll click here and then I'll click here see you will need to observe where I'm clicking because that point is very important after a while it looks like this then later you will need to make a duplicate copy of this and then you can go to the format and then flip it vertically just like this then move it like this now group them both together so the complete a uh, completed artwork should look like this now if you uh, place it on the entire page it should look like this now let us view it without the grid lines so I have just added some squares on the corners so it's a pretty good looking design now let me show you the next one so this time again I'm going to use the curve I'll make a click here and then click here 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 and here so this forms a loop and so the completed loop looks like this and uh, on the entire page it looks like this I have made some adjustments at the corners next example for this example again I'm going to use the curve so I'm going to start the click from here click here here like that and so the completed version looks like this and on the entire page it looks like this I have changed the fill and the outline properties so now here comes the most beautiful border design so don't skip the video for this also I am going to use the curve so watch carefully so I am going to start from here click here and then click here 
here here and I'm going to end this here now duplicate the line just created and then flip it vertically now carefully arrange this as shown now you should see that these two lines should meet here like this and then fill the first shape with the red color and fill the second shape with the purple now bring the red color in front of the purple by going to the bring to front see if some glitches happen like this you can move it and move it back it, it'll go now you will need to select both of them together and then go to the format shape fill more fill colors reduce the transparency to 57 percent and then click on the ok then remove the outline set to no outline then copy the entire thing and then you can just go to the rotate flip horizontal and then place everything together like this then select all of the shapes and then group it together then you can stretch it to the complete width just like this now you can reduce the height as per your choice so I'm reducing it to this much now let me apply this on the entire page and show you so I'll just make a copy and bring it to the next page like this then I'll just try to move it here now I will just reduce the size and adjust so I'll make sure that this point sits on this point and I will just increase the size a little bit like this so it ends here so we have four squares here and four squares here and uh, now I'll make one more copy bring this completely down and place this here now I'll make one more copy of this this time I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees and then I'll just touch this here like this now you can increase the size by pulling this and make sure you touch this one also to this one now make a copy of this and place it on the other side so now let us hide the grid line and see how this looks I'll just go to the view and remove the check mark from the grid lines so now I'll just zoom this and show you how this looks so this one is my favorite design of the day so I hope you will like this one uh, as well so this is how it looks on the entire page hey don't go away now I'm going to show you the last one and the final design but this is also a good one so I'll just take the curve again and uh, I'll start creating like this now the completed version should look like this now what you can do is you can just create duplicates of this by holding the control and clicking and dragging so you, you should also move it towards the right as you duplicate so the final version should look like this so now let me take away the grid lines so it looks like this 
and on the entire page it looks like this i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial so if you like this tutorial give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it now so i will see you all in my next video with another awesome content until then it's bye from hbn infotech.com